Welcome to another episode of Colorado Mountain Living. In this episode, I am going to create a cable system for our uh, lifting rack uh, system. Uh, Amy likes to do uh, various uh, exercises, um, back, lats, things like that, that require a cable system. Um, and also, <clears throat> just provides another opportunity, a little variety in how you're working out as well. You can do curls and triceps as well with this system. And uh, so I've settled on a design, uh, spent uh, at least an hour trying to figure out um, how I can do it and with the materials I have, trying to limit how much I need to buy. Um, so let me show you what I've settled on. All right, so I'll draw two different views here. We'll do a, uh, uh, two different side views, basically. This is the main crossbar that goes from front to back. There's the, the rear post. So, so we have the I-beams. Uh, I still have leftover pieces of that that I got from the tractor trailer uh, recycling place. So, so that would be nice to, to use that. So here's this is the bottom of the I-beam. And then I'll put two um, pieces of angle iron on either side. These will probably extend a little bit out further. Let's say a piece of angle iron here. So I'll bolt this, the, the uh, I beam to the angle iron through here. And there'll be another one on the other side. And then I'll bolt through the cross beam into the other piece of angle iron on the other side. <clears throat> then I will have the pulleys I bought mounted here. So they actually have got the nice, uh, I've got the kind that you can bolt on. There'll be uh, two screws in the top and then there's a flange on the bottom with my one screw right there. So. And then on, on the bottom, The bottom will just be two, uh, basically four pieces of angle iron. Over to line it up, right? Then there'll be angle iron on the bottom here, and I think it's probably a little over four inches apart there. So bolt there, bolt there. This will be bolted in. I'll drill a hole through here, and then mount the other pulley. So this pulley as a whole in the top. So here are my two types of pulleys. Uh, this is the one that'll be on the top. So there'll be two of them actually. Uh, just like that. The other one that just has the hole in it will be mounted to the angle iron like this. So it'll have some uh, flexibility, able to move back and uh, forth like that. Um, that way when you're Depending on how you're holding the cable, uh, again, you have some flexibility there. So, um, and I'll probably use a, um, a carabiner to mount that, so there's really a little bit of wiggle room in there. So you're not, you don't have to be perfectly lined up 
with that. So. so then from the other side, from the front view, let's draw the, so this is the cross beam. I have the I beam here. One of the pulleys will be mounted like that. So I'll have a pulley here. Again, two bolts there and one down here. And then the other one will be mounted here. Two bolts, a bolt there. Now I'll trim the I beam here. I want to have it on a bit of an angle. It should be out of the way, but there, there might be a little bit of conflict with doing pull-ups on the one side. Now, I, I put a piece of wood up there trying to figure it out, and so I think it'll be okay. Um, we have large weights to use, so they're quite large in diameter. So the cable comes down like that. Comes across, down, like that. The pulleys have these pins on so you can pull out the axle. I got a larger pin uh, so that it's easy to pull apart because when you're doing uh, lap pull downs or um, tricep work, uh, you want to be able to uh, uh, take the cable off the bottom. So you'll just be able to pull the pin out and then pull the axle off it and then it comes apart. So there you have it, so time to get to work. So this is the setup for the, the pulleys. So now what I'm going to mark underneath, I want to cut away some of this material here. So all I need to cut. The cable comes down here, so it needs to be able to go back this way or kind of maneuver without rubbing on the edge. So.
Man, it's sure nice to have a lot of extra cable left over from that railing project. Okay, let's just test it out. We don't have our handles yet, our yeah. real equipment. the new equipment, <laughs> our fancy equipment. So I'm trying out all the different ways to utilize it. Um, so I'm trying to think of all the different exercises and the things I've been missing. So a lot of the cable exercises like flies and extensions, you know, where you're kind of moving like this. Also things you can do with your legs like pushing and curling, things like that. Um, you've got your bicep pull, your tricep push down, but we're limited on two things. One is we don't have all the handle attachments yet, where we've got basic stuff like, like a pipe. So we're going like Flintstone style with just really basic handlebar equipments. We do have a couple, it's just like a something like a little leather cuff with some, with some wool inside that you can kind of put around your ankle or perhaps your wrist and you can do the movements with a cable like that. So the first one is if you put it around your ankle, you can do some leg extensions. I've only got 10 pounds on there, so it's not too hard. The leg extension works the hamstrings, but mostly it works the gluteus maximus. So that's for your booty exercise. Okay, now sitting on the seat here, you can do a leg curl, hamstring curl, but it works better if you're more back, so you want a completely straight leg, lift and then pull towards you and you're exercising that hamstring. You've got the glute blaster, so it's easier if you bend over a little bit and you push on the bottom of your foot. So since this is, since the attachment point is down here, you want to kind of keep that fulcrum, if you will, close to where your pivot point's going to be. So we're going to be doing some flies and some extensions, but what we're going to do is add another point halfway up so we don't have to sit on the ground and do this. Actually it works better with your arm in a cuff if you want to isolate just the chest fly. Again, I want to have a straight arm and then move it in like that. Whew. I already did a bunch of these, that's why I'm tired. Now, if you want to do the reverse and you want to work your shoulder, you start from already closed position and you extend out. 10 pounds is kind of the max weight for me on this one. We'll get a regular strap for this. From this position, everybody's favorite, the bicep curls. We. Okay. You probably want something for your feet to be against. Because as you lean forward, the row is like this. Stand up, pull back. So, seated back rows. That's nothing for 10 pounds. So what a great addition to our home gym, having a cable machine and not having to pay cable machine prices. We were pricing them out online. They're just crazy. Even like the attachments that you can get for power rack systems. But with Brian's configuration, 
you know, he custom made it for hours. It won't take that much more work to add in, you know, another fulcrum point right here so we can have, you know, be able to do those extensions and things. Definitely excited to have an upgrade to our power rack system. And so far, so good. We think we're just going to upgrade with some, some uh, handle attachments to see if we can make it do all the things we want it to do. But things are looking good for the new year. We're going we're gonna to get in even better shape next year. So stay tuned in January 2021 because we're going to be doing some health and fitness videos as Brian gets trained for the Ironman. And I think I'm going to do some challenges as well. So we'll see you then. But yeah, let us know if you guys have ever built some kind of a cable system for home gym equipment. But this is working out pretty well. Thumbs up.